Chances are good you know how to underline characters using the home tab of the ribbon. In this quick tip, Whoa. though, you discover how to supercharge the underlines that you use. Let's say I want to underline the words I have selected on the screen. The typical way of doing this is to display the home tab of the ribbon and then use the underline tool. That adds a simple underline and you may be just fine with that. You can, if you desire, use the down arrow next to the underline tool to see the different types of underlines that are available and you can choose one of these. You can see that there are eight different underline options here. If you really want the full range of how Word can do underlining though, you need to use the font dialog box. You can display it quickly by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm gonna move it over here so that we can see what we have selected within the text is at the same time. Note the underline style drop-down list. At first, you might think that this list offers the same options you saw on the home tab of the ribbon. That would be wrong though, because as you can see when we click this down arrow, there are quite a few different choices that you can make in here. In fact, if you count all of these, you'll find that there's a total of 18 underlining options available. That's a great deal of flexibility. Two of those options may need a bit of explanation. The first, as you can see, is the word none within parentheses. This means that there will be no underlining done. The second option is words only, an option that results in a single underline that is placed only under the words in the selected text. We'll select that right there, and when I click on OK, you can see that only the words are underlined within the selected text. Now you noted that what we did is we selected an option within the dialog box and then we clicked on the OK button. It then applied that, uh, that selected option to the selected text. I'm gonna pull back up the uh, font dialog box so that you can see that there's an interesting behavior here uh, within Word. I'm gonna select a different underline style. Let's say that I want this one that has a double underline. Now before I click on the OK button, I want you to notice something about the selected text within the document. Note that we have a space selected at the very end of this uh, selection as well, right after the word prove. When I click on OK, we get the double underline, but it doesn't underline that trailing space. It does underline the spaces between the words, but not the trailing space that's right there. If you have a trailing space selected in your text, then Word won't add underlining to those spaces. Finally, let's go back and display the font dialog box one more time. You may have noticed this control right over here. This allows you to specify a color for the underline that you want to add. This doesn't affect the characters, just the underline beneath the characters. So I could select Let's say that I want to have my double underlines be orange. I have the style selected here, and then I have the color selected here. And down at the bottom of the dialog box, it gives me a preview of what it's going to look like. When I click on OK, then I have a double orange underline in my text. Well, there you have it. A way to supercharge your underlining by using the full power of the font dialog box. If you found this quick tip helpful, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way, YouTube will let you know when new videos are added to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.